there. Shortly after being born, I was rushed to a hospital in Philadelphia. From there, it was determined that I have a rare genetic and serious skin disease called ichthyosis. Ichthyosis is a rare skin disease that causes dry, thick, scaly, and flaky skin. Because of this disease, I wake up every day with a new challenge. Looking in the mirror and knowing that I'm different from everyone else in a very apparent, specific way. But I'm returning to him daily, not because my actions, but the way I look. I've been called alligator, dragon, and fishy because my skin resembles the scales on a fish. Multiple times a day, I would be asked the golden question Will you burn in the fire? Then I have to explain to them that I have a rare skin disease. However, this will only happen if people actually talk to me. Most people want to talk to me and look at me with disgust. For instance, somehow I do happen to make in school and I act with me out of school. All of this brings my self esteem and self confidence down more. I would love to talk to others and have great conversations. People just doesn't want to talk to me. Okay, so my son, Daytuan, was born on October 25th, 1997. Um, got to the hospital and everything was normal and fine. And he finally came out at 4.12 in the morning. And... Um, Everything was fine and normal. He was cute. Little chocolate baby came out. He was fine. So they put him on the baby warmer, and all of a sudden, his skin started to, like, blister. It looked like it had, like, water underneath it, and it started, like, cracking and slitting. It wasn't bleeding, though. And he, um, doctors came in and saying what he had was called ichthyosis, and... They, they weren't equipped to handle it, so they were going to take him to um, the hospital in Philly, Thomas Jefferson. It was something I'd never seen before, a lot of people never seen before. But after a few days, I called the hospital and they said that, um, I asked the nurse, I said, well, how's his eyes? She said, did your eyes were fine? I said, well, are they still, his lids flipped outside out? And she was like, no. And I was like, wow, really? So I couldn't wait to get up there to see you, to see it for myself. When I brought Daytoine home, um, it was normal, brought him on home. And at the hospital, they told me about the uh, Aquaphor, so I had to go to the drugstore and get the jars of Aquaphor to keep his skin moist. And um, it was pretty okay. It was just like having a normal baby. I just had to lather him up three times a day in, in a, a aqua four. I do have a picture of him when he was born. This was the same day he was born. Um, relatives were fine. You know, they didn't know anything about it as well as I didn't. But as I explained to them, they were, you know, he was just like any other baby. Strangers, you know, of course, not knowing what it is, they're going to stare. You know, they stared at him, and as they stared at him, I stared at them. They got over it real quick. <laughs> That's my baby. Thankfully, I have been able to see medicine that significantly removes all the extra skin that makes me look normal with some scar and disease. Even though I look normal, the lasting effects of me not having active friends, having low confidence, and social anxiety still packs me today. I grew up asking God, why did he give me this skin disease and not make me look like everyone else? But now I understand it was to prepare me for the future. I created this film not to just tell my story. I created this film to inspire others to do what they love and just focus on themselves. Don't focus on what anyone else is doing, just focus on yourself. If you feel alone, don't. There's always someone else that's going through the same similarities and difficulties as you are. I grew up very different, but that shouldn't separate me. Whatever makes you different shouldn't separate you. If you feel as though everything that you want is not happening to you right now, be patient. Just please be patient. Everything that you ever want will come soon. Just be patient. Just be patient. I promise you, God, a lot of the universe, I don't care what you call it, will reward you in the future. Peace, love, positivity.